This since, conference will now be recorded. Since it is scientifically and medically proven that Sahaja Yoga is the only cure to all type of stress, anxiety, and emotional, physical, mental, as well as psychological health ailments. Along with, along with advocate Aditi, you know, we'll also have her, her co-presenter, you know, Mr. Chandrakant Doda. He's working as a senior technical delivery manager with, with Vistinian Corporation Private Limited based out of Pune. He completed his electronic and instrumentation sciences post-graduation from University of Pune in the year 2004 with a brief stint in the technical sales, marketing, and as well as, you know, other fields. You see, he, he also has been associated with software and IT industry in India, as well as in Western countries like USA, Japan, etc., for more than 15 plus years of experience. He worked with various Indian and foreign companies, including Wipro Technologies, Jensen Control, Toshiba, etc., and many more. Mr. Chandrakant has been associated with and voluntarily conducting to the Sir, sorry to disturb you, sir. We have lost audio, sir. There is no audio from your end. Uh, hello, uh, am, am I audible? Yes, yes, madam, you are audible. You are audible. Okay. My apologies for disconnectivity. And we welcome both of you. And let's start the presentation, which is going to be fantastic on this Sahaja Yoga. Uh, hello, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the kind introduction. Actually, there was some technical error due to which the voice wasn't audible. Uh, thank you so much for the kind welcome. And uh, so today we welcome all the participants uh, for uh, this session on uh, Seheja Yoga. So we will be taking you forward to today towards a journey wherein you will be achieving peace, joy and content within, harmony within, through very natural and scientific techniques of Seheja Yoga. So I believe all participants are uh, uh, must be all ready. So... Uh, uh, I'll just take one second. Just All right. Uh, so, uh, so right now uh, you can see on your screens Sahaja Yoga Journey to Peace of Mind. So what this really means is that today you will be achieving peace, not just uh, verbally through mental projection, but it will be an experience within you. And you shall be experiencing this within you, uh, which will be a scientific process. It will be a happening inside you. So let us all begin with this. And uh, like you can see on your screens, uh, so uh, Sahaja Yoga essentially Sahaj. What is Sahaj? Sahaj is simple, very, very simple. It is spontaneous. 
so saha means born and ja is with you so sahaja yoga is this is there is an energy inside you which is residing inside you and you are you take your second birth with sahaja yoga you take your second birth and uh, so sahaja is born with you so this is a very spontaneous union your union with the cosmic energy which is a very spontaneous it happens in the most spontaneous manner and the yoga here means connection your connection with the divine power and uh, connection with the divine power from your spirit so this is here yoga does not mean any kind of exercises or asanas and uh, <clears throat> here yoga does not even mean some sort of uh, uh, going in some sort of pranayams or exercises because that we have been doing for so many ages now we have to reach the ultimate goal the ultimate goal is to receive our self realization is to get connected with the divine part and achieve peace in the most scientific natural way so uh, so uh, that is uh, the beginning like sahaja is very simple very spontaneous yoga is the your connection with the all pervading power which is uh, controlling the entire universe all right so uh, i'll request all participants because today's lecture is not connected to something connected it is not connected to uh, to, uh, to uh, from a academic point of view but definitely it is uh, going to help you in your professional life in your academics it helps students in their academics it helps all uh, work people who are uh, into workplaces in different professions it helps them in their professions it helps the small children it helps them it helps elder people it has even uh, cured people of incurable diseases uh, medical science has now proved that sahaja yoga is the only way to cure incurable diseases from its very roots now russian scientists have uh, named sahaja yoga as meta science which means that where science the normal science ends sahaja yoga science begins and that is why in russia sahaja yoga has been named as meta science by their scientists so uh, i'll request now uh, all participants to please be relaxed this was a short introduction on sahaja yoga so now we'll be moving forward with uh, we'll be taking you through various uh, things today first i'll just give you a brief introduction on what we'll be going through today first we will see what stress really is because today we are here to know how to combat stress anxiety and depression through sahaja yoga as well as uh, to know how sahaja yoga helps you in a holistic development how does it help you with stress management very very naturally you don't have to uh, go to mountains you don't have to chant any mantras you don't have to do any exercises or asanas nothing it's just very spontaneous so we'll be taking you ahead on that journey right now and uh, so just re request all participants to be very relaxed uh, if uh, need be you can uh, if uh, probably if you are at home you can invite uh, your family members also and uh, they can also receive uh, uh, uh you, they can also get the benefits today because we'll be having the practical session as well and uh, all right so uh today we'll be knowing what stress really is what is stress what how does stress impact our life how does stress impact our life and the third aspect will be uh how to overcome stress okay so we know how what is stress where does it come from but how do we overcome stress what how what can we do to combat stress all right so first thing what is stress you we all know we get stress from simple things in life some people even get stress if a glass of water drops on the ground and there's water scattered all over some people get stress from big things like probably there is uh, some uh, um like somebody's come late to office so there's a great stress that people have isn't it so <laughs> all right so then uh, so then uh, then there are of course it doesn't mean that one has to be late but once in a while if supposing somebody is late uh, there is a big there's a big stress 
then there are stress from uh, our office life from our uh, you know, children for children it's just uh, they get stressed from their school life so stress is there in every little thing if you can find if you see stress is there in every little thing in life even today right now we are sitting here but at the back of our minds all of us have something or the other going on okay so after this after one hour i have to do this there is some other uh, preparation i have to do there might be some exam i have to prepare i hope i clear it well and i hope it i get a particular certificate so there are millions of thoughts in your brain even right now that we are sitting here there are millions of thoughts so uh, every thought uh, you know every thought that comes in our brain uh, is doesn't just come and go when every thought comes with with every thought there are so many nerves in the brain which are working and with every thought now supposing if there are two thoughts what really is meditation now supposing there are th two thoughts first thought comes and the second thought comes so the gap between the first thought and the second thought is what is meditation but the problem is there isn't any gap between the first thought and the th second thought so between the first thought and the second thought there isn't really any gap now with meditation we automatically get a gap so there is a gap between the first and the second thought and that gap is thoughtless awareness meditation is thoughtless awareness so that gap is thoughtless awareness and uh, so uh, so today we will be going through towards that journey how do we achieve thoughtless awareness and uh, so uh, yeah so uh, so we've seen how uh, where does stress come from and now the second thing that we have to know is what are the effects that stress has on our life what are these effects that stress has, has on our life you won't believe that stress is the originating point of each and every problem we face in our life even something as big as uh, bp and blood sugar uh, diabetes even that the originating the originating source is stress so stress is the originating point of every ailment even something like uh, spondylitis something like angina something like cancer the originating point is stress if somehow there is a technique to eliminate stress from the roots you can imagine what wonders it can do to you and your family to your friends and to everyone in this universe so uh, so uh, now we know uh, what stress is we know where uh, what harm does it do like it uh, not it it uh, leave alone the big uh, problems even small problems like emotional disturbances you might have seen small children nowadays they are into uh, so much of turmoil it's 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 very common nowadays to see small children holding their heads and having a headache so you know uh, stress has uh, somehow creeped into the brains of little little children also now and uh, uh, so uh, it, it's it's uh, it's not a very good sight to see but it is there so uh, we uh, it, so the first to nowadays one of the major inventions that scientists are going looking forward to is how to eliminate stress and one of the ways scientifically proven is through sahaja yoga meditation which we all will be also experiencing today and uh, also now right now that you can see on your screens we'll begin now what with with what exactly is sahaja yoga meditation so right now on your screen you can see the subtle energy of a person of a human person so here you can see that there are three channels there is a left channel there is a right channel and there is a center channel so the left channel is the, since this is a mirror image so the left channel will be the one which is yellow in color the right channel is the one which is blue in color and the center channel is the one which is white and which has seven energy centers in sanskrit also known as uh, chakras in hindi and sanskrit also known as chakras but uh, otherwise in medical language known as seven energy centers which you can see as as uh, small colored roundels like yellow green red blue white okay so 
on the center channel. These are the seven subtle, subtle energy centers. Now, what happens is if we are facing any problem in our life, whether it be anything on this earth, whether it be an emotional problem, whether it be a mental problem, a psychological problem, whether it is a physical problem in the form of some ailment or some disease, any kind of or even something as small as stress, although it initially looks small, it magnifies into great things later on, but even something as uh, something like stress, anxiety, depression, anything on this earth is due to the imbalance which comes within our subtle energy centers that you can see on your screen and within the two channels the left and the right channel not the center channel the center channel is the channel of balance but on the left channel and on the right channel so if there is any kind of ailment that comes to any person it's due to the imbalance that comes any kind of problem, even pro people facing problems with their professional life, if people are facing problems with their uh, personal life, with relations with other people, uh, something as uh, different of, as this, uh, something even if people are facing problems uh, financially. So all it's so it's so ironical. How can it be connected? But it is connected, and you will know further how. Everything we are facing in life, which is uh, an imbalance uh, problem is due to some imbalance which has come in one of our seven energy centers. If those seven energy centers are purified, if the imbalance is removed from those seven energy centers, you will be surprised that the person's, that particular problem of that person vanishes. It just vanishes from the roots. Whether it is a financial problem, emotional problem, physical problem, psychological, any kind of problem. So uh, let's go further on these seven energy centers and these three channels. Now, these three channels and the seven energy centers, this is all inside the spinal cord of each and every human being. So whether we are from any religion or not from any religion, whether somebody is a Hindu, a Buddhist, a Sikh, a Jain, whether somebody is from India, America, Africa, we all have this. So it is in the spinal, so it, that is why it is not connected to any religion. It is within you, this, this energy is within you and you will be blessed with, the, uh, with this. So uh, you can see uh, the three channels and the seven energy centers are inside the spinal cord of every human being. Now the left channel, you know, uh, you can see the left channel, which is yellow in color is the uh, sorry I'm, I'm 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 saying it wrong the left channel is the blue channel so since it's a mirror image yeah so the left channel is the blue channel the left channel which is the blue channel is is corresponds to our past now supposing if somebody is too much into the past is all the time into depression all the time thinks about his his or her past is all the time into uh, feels uh, is feels depressed or very lethargic doesn't feel like working all the time feels drowsy so these are the qualities that that particular person's left channel has become weak okay so that means the left channel has become weak and uh, that particular person will become very emotional will feel very lonely and depressed At, on the other hand the exactly opposite of these qualities is the right-sided person which means a right a person whose right channel is weak will will uh, face the following things like the, he will be very very overactive in life very oh, will be all the time planning thinking will always have too many thoughts in brain so way too many than required so his brain will always be working will get exhausted extremely, will be working so hard that uh, will not have time for his own self or her own self. Okay, will always be in the future. Just like the left person, sided person is in the past, the right sided person is always planning about the future, always thinking about the future, a very workaholic person and uh, a very dominating person. So that means that person's right channel has become weak. All right. So now with you will notice now such people whose right channel is weak, which means that they're very futuristic, very 
uh, uh, people who are all the time planning, thinking, thinking about the future, have no time for themselves all the time uh, in a very hectic life uh, schedule. They will, you will see such people uh, get BP, blood sugar, and also diabetes. Yeah, I mean, blood sugar, uh, high levels of blood sugar. Uh, uh, so now, uh, left channel and right channel, if there is an imbalance, there is nothing to worry. Because even if somebody's left channel is weak or right channel is weak, it can completely get cured. It can definitely get cured through Seheja Yoga. And how it gets cured, we will be knowing now. What we have to do is that we have to come into balance. We have to come into the center channel. The center channel is the channel of balance and we have to come there. We have to come into our center channel. So you can also see that at the base of the center channel, there is a triangular bone. Now, this triangular bone has three and a half coils. You can see it on your screen. Just at, at the base of the spinal cord, there is a triangular bone. Now, this triangular bone in medical language also is also known as the sacrum bone. It has, it has three and a half coils. Now, this three and a half coils is the divine energy residing inside every human being. And this three and a half coils has so many threads that the exact number, if you wish to know, so it is a 21 raised to power 108. So if you calculate 21 raised to power 108, it's a huge, huge number. All right. And uh, so those many threads are 21 raised to power 108 is the number of threads that this three and a half coils has within each and every human being. Now, or in Sanskrit, also known as the Kundalini. The, the Kundalini, when it rises, it cures us. It cures us and it replenishes each and every, all these seven chakras which are inside us, it cures us. So it is a spontaneous happening. And this Kundalini, when it rises, it cures us, it replenishes us, because of which we get automatically the first blessing that any human being has with the awakening of the divine power inside us. The divine power in Sanskrit, also the Kundalini, with the awakening of the Kundalini inside us, the first blessing that a person has is he gets rid of all his problems. Whether it is emotional, mental, psychological, automatically he's, he just gets rid of it. Uh, and if, only thing is one has to just start practicing it regularly for five to ten minutes. For some people, it, the problems are vanished into thin air within no time. We've seen people having heart problems and getting cured within seconds of getting their self-realization. You can imagine this is within, within seconds. And for some people, it has taken time. It has taken some months. It has taken days. It has taken weeks. But they have all got cured. Okay, so with every person, it's a different time taken, but he gets definitely 100% cured. Whether it is stress or anxiety, depression, emotional disturbance, any kind of problem. All right. Okay, so um, now we will also listen to uh, the speech, um, a very short speech by the founder of uh, Seheja Yoga, Her Holiness uh, Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi. Show me space, show me small. So it is more with you, the right. The first united is the yoga with the divine. We have two sides in our system of autonomous nervous school, left and right. We call it left and right sympathetic nervous system. The left side caters for our emotions, for our past our desires. The right side caters for our actions, physical and mental. If we indulge into one too much and go too far, we develop an imbalance in your balance. In the second one, the third power is called the parasitic function system. And this is a channel which is the central part of the system. When the Kundalini rises to you, it keeps you in the balance. Because it is the center of the system. So, this 
Sudan many of them that happens that we don't let the tears gather. This is the last break through of our human wisdom. Then you have to get connected to the divine. You have to feed it on your central nervous system. And that's how you get your self realized. Yeah, so we all uh, heard uh, today right now uh, from the founder of Seheja Yoga, Her Holiness, uh, Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi. Now, uh, the uh, we, we, you can see on your screens, like the various chakras, the, the various terminology that medical science has given it. Now, for example, the Muladhara Chakra in medical science known as the pelvic plexus, the Vishuddhi chakra, which controls the entire ENT, the throat, eyes, nose, uh, ears, everything. So the Vishuddhi chakra in medical language known as the cervical plexus and uh, the Agya chakra, the optic chasma and the Sehasrara chakra, which is the seventh chakra, which is the center of our head, known as the limbic area in medical language. Now, uh, the seventh chakra inside us now, you can all, yeah, so the seventh chakra inside us was opened on 5th May 1970 by Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi. And this day, 5th May, has been the breakthrough, is also known as the World Sehastrara Day and has been the breakthrough in the evolution, in the history of evolution of mankind. Because due to the opening of the seventh chakra, by the grace of Her Holiness Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi, today millions of people across the world are able to get their self-realization. They are able to know the reason why they've come on this earth. They are able to know the meaning of their life. They are able to achieve peace and joy within, with the, with, uh, the awakening, with the spontaneous awakening of the Kundalini. So now the, if the Kundalini is able to awaken within each and every human being in the most uh, natural way. It is due to the opening of the seventh chapter on 5th May 1970. And uh, so we will now see a short video on what really happens when the Kundalini gets awakened. Yeah, so you just saw uh, the awakening of the Kundalini. And uh, so what you really saw is that all the seven energy centers, as and when the three and a half coils or the Kundalini, when the uh, so when this Kundalini or three and a half coils, anything that you call it, when this rises inside you, it replenishes each and every chakra, by virtue of which all the imbalances slowly and slowly start getting uh, removed are automatically you get uh, they get eliminated from your respective chakras okay and uh, also you can see on your screens that uh, about Srimatiji Srimatiji 
developed this technique in 1970 on 5th of May. Shri Mataji was born on 21st March 1923 and uh, has also been the recipient of a Nobel Peace Prize Award. And uh, so because of the various, uh, uh, Shri Mataji has been traveling throughout uh, the world, giving this, uh, telling about, telling people about Seheja Yoga about en masse, giving en masse self-realization to people all across the world, absolutely free of cost. So Seheja Yoga is absolutely free of cost all over the world. Each and every program, each and every session, everywhere in this world, whether it is for any place, any organization throughout the world, wherever Seheja Yoga is conducted, sessions are conducted, they are always free of cost. And the reason for that is because this is this you get by the grace of the divine power. So the three and a half coils, the Kundalini is your own divine mother residing inside you. We know we cannot pay our parents. You cannot pay your mother. So how can you pay your divine mother? Isn't it? So this divine mother is residing inside you in the form of the, uh, with respectfully. The Kundalini is respectfully also worldwide known as the divine mother. People refer to it as the Holy Mother, the Divine Mother. So this is this energy is residing inside you. It's within you. So when this energy rises, it blesses you. All right. And uh, that is why when something within you is happening spontaneously by the grace of the cosmic energy, how can we pay for it? And that is why Seheja Yoga is absolutely free of cost all over the world. So I think uh, we should now uh, go ahead on the practical session so we've now right now what we have done is that we have known everything on um, on a mental uh, basis as in we have had a mental projection of everything right now so it is very important to know uh, about it on a scientific in a scientific way to really uh, experience this because you know they say or there, somebody tells us okay a tree or somebody has never seen a tree you can explain to him that tree has a has branches has a bark has a trunk has a has leaves has uh, you can explain to the person but it will be a mental projection the moment you show a person this is what a tree looks like immediately the doubts they just go away so right now we've known everything on a mental level let's move ahead with the main aspect with the practical session of are the, the practical session also known as the self-realization process, the self-realization. So uh, before the self-realization, we have to clear the left channel and also we have to clear the right channel. All right, so for clearing the left channel, what we have to do is, you can see on your screens also, why do you clear the left channel and the right channel? To get come into balance. Like right? you have known in the beginning, left channel imbalances, if a person is too much into the past, lethargic and uh, into depression, so left channel, that person needs to clear the left channel. If somebody is always in the future, always thinking about the future, that means that person has to clear the right channel. So let's go into the techniques of the balancing techniques first. So for the first uh, technique, what we will do is we will place our left hand on our lap. We'll open up our hands like this. Okay. Place both our hands on our lap. Sit very comfortably. Left hand we will keep on our lap. Right hand we will take it like this and place it down. We just hang our hand downwards. You can see the person on the screen is also sitting. And he is uh, the person has he has kept his left hand on the lap and right hand. You just have to place it on the ground. Okay. So you place your left right hand on the ground. And here we will ask. Let's now uh, just experience this. So what we will do here is we will ask the divine part. We will all close our eyes. We will all close our eyes. Uh, Atisi ma'am, your voice is not coming properly. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, just now, uh, before a few seconds back, it is fine. Now it is uh, getting some disturbance. 
Okay, and now my voice is audible? Yes, yes. Now it's a perfectly clear. Yes. Okay, okay, all right. Okay. It so is okay, madam. Watching... It is audible now. It is audible, very much audible now. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, what we will do is we will keep the left hand on our lap and the right hand, we will place it on the, uh, we will hang it down towards our chair. The, we will face our hand down and uh, it should the palm should face the ground. The reason for doing this is because whatever imbalance that we have, it will, the ground, which is also called the Mother Earth, it has the gravitational pull. So this gravitational pull will absorb all the imbalances from our right hand and take it inside it into the mother earth you will experience this that from your right hand something is moving towards the mother earth a, you will feel a force moving from your right hand towards the mother earth all right okay so uh, first i'll just explain both the procedures and then i think it's better we do it then so the next for the next procedure what we will do is we will keep our uh, right hand on the we will keep our right hand on the lap we will keep our right hand on the lap and left hand will face it like this towards the sky all right so you can keep your your right hand will be on your both your hands like this right hand on your lap and left hand will face it towards the sky right okay? so with this what happens is you will once we do the uh, the experiment you will notice that there will be something flowing from your right hand towards the sky so in essentially what this will be will be that your imbalances so your imbalances will move from your right hand towards the sky all right so now that we know both the techniques let's uh, all move towards the first technique so for that we will all close our eyes and bend our heads slightly Request all participants that you should close your eyes so that our attention doesn't move, doesn't fritter away. Our attention is within ourselves. Uh, madam, your voice is a bit breaking. Aditi, madam, your voice is a bit breaking actually. Okay, sir. All right. Now it is so, okay. uh, Ma'am, now, now it is yeah. fine. Now it is fine. All right, yeah. sir. All right, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. So what we will do is. We, we will all close our eyes. We will all close our eyes. And now we will be doing the two balancing techniques, the practical session. So let's first begin with the left channel clearance. We'll place our left hand on our lap. We will place the left hand on our lap and right hand towards the ground. In other words, towards the mother earth. The gravitational pull will absorb all that is all the imbalances inside the mother earth and here from our heart we will pray from our heart we will say this affirmation oh divine power oh mother nature please remove all the imbalances from my left channel into the mother earth Oh, Mother Nature, please remove all the imbalances from my left channel into the Mother Earth. Oh, Mother Nature, please remove all the imbalances of my left channel into the Mother Earth. We'll allow the mother nature to work on us. So just sit back with utmost peace. We don't have to control our thoughts because the more we control our thoughts, the more they will sit on our head. So let the thoughts come. They will automatic this. Since this is a spontaneous happening, it will let, let yourself go into meditation spontaneously. Any amount of effort will take you away from meditation. So please don't have any, don't stop your thoughts. Let the thoughts come. They will slowly decrease and vanish. 
so let the thoughts come just sit back and just make this pure desire from your heart oh mother nature please remove all the imbalances from my left channel into the mother earth allow the mother nature to work on you Okay, so now we will go. We will do the next step, which is for the clearing of the right channel. So for this, we will put the right hand on the left channel. Left is right. which are there in my right channel into the sky element oh mother oh. nature please oh mother nature please remove all the imbalances from my right channel into the sky element now we'll keep both our hands back on our lap and now we will move towards the process of self realization so for the process of self realization i'll i'll request Okay, so for the uh, so yeah, so for self realization process, what we'll do is. we you can see the three diagrams on in front of you on the screen first we will we just have to do very simple three steps very simple three steps we have to do left hand will be on our lap and right hand we will place on our heart because heart is where our spirit resides okay and uh, the second procedure would all the time our left hand will be on our lap and it will be the right hand that we will be why it will be like this because see the left channel is the channel of desire so we are making a pure desire to the mother nature to give us our self realization that is why the left channel will always be on the lap during this procedure of self realization and since the right channel is the uh, channel uh, is the channel from where all our activities are uh, integrated so that is why we will move our right hand okay so first we will keep our left hand on our lap right hand on the heart here we will say few affirmations at that time i'll let you know so right right now we'll just see the second step like you can see on your screen again same left hand on our lap right hand on our forehead we have to uh, put our hand on our forehead and the third step is same left hand on our lap and right hand on the center of our head so we have to place the center of our palm with the center of our head okay so these are the three procedures of self realization so uh, we will not begin immediately i'll just tell you something very important before we begin with the process of self realization 
And that important thing is that in Seheja Yoga, there is no kind of conditioning whatsoever except for just three things. What are these three things? The first is we have to have a pure desire for this. So unless and until we have a pure desire, it's not going to work out. As in, uh, this cannot be forced on anyone. We, we ourselves need to have a pure desire towards the mother nature, towards this uh, divine power residing in, inside us that we want to experience peace and joy within. Okay, so this, this is the first, and, uh, first thing. The second is that uh, we don't have to feel guilty for anything whatsoever. Even during the process of self-realization, you will be told to say this affirmation from your heart. But before that, I wanted to just familiarize everyone with this. So the second thing is we don't have to feel guilty for anything. Why? Because we are just the pure spirit. You know, so many times we have heard so many places that uh, uh, at various places we've heard this, that uh, we, we are not this mind, we are not these emotions, we are not the body, we are not this uh, intellect, we are not these conditionings, uh, we are not these thoughts. Uh, so we are, uh, so what, we are just the pure spirit. It is, but, uh, uh, so I'm sure we are, we, some of us have heard this at various uh, different points in our time. But uh, this has all been a mental projection till now. So right now, we are going to experience that we are just the pure spirit. But if we are really the pure spirit, so how can the pure spirit make any mistake? So that is why the pure spirit is never guilty. If you are the real, if you are just the pure spirit, you are not guilty for anything whatsoever. So this is the second condition that you don't have to feel guilty. None, we, we just don't have to feel guilty for anything because we are just the pure spirit. If anyone feels they have made any mistake, it is due to maybe some influence, under the influence of somebody's thoughts or something gathered from somewhere, but not the pure spirit has not made the mistake, all right? So we, don't, we, we are just not guilty for anything. The third condition is that we have to forgive everyone. And the reason for that is if we do not forgive everyone, then it is difficult for this kundalini to rise above the sixth energy center. The sixth energy center is the center of our, uh, uh, it is the forehead, is, is where, uh, the, is the center of our forehead. So the, uh, in uh, medical language, the optic chasma. So for the energy, cent for the kundalini to rise above the optic chasma, it is important that we forgive everyone. And as it is, we know that, you know, whether, uh, we forgive or we don't forgive. It's just a myth as in that if we forgive, we don't really do anything big. But if we don't forgive, we are the ones who are, you know, having a headache. The other person who might have done harm to anyone is, you know, living in his own life. Let God handle that person. If we forgive that person, at least we will save ourselves from headache, from stress, from so many problems. And the divine power will definitely solve the problem automatically. So let's just forgive everyone in one go today so that we experience self-realization in the best possible way. Okay. All right. So these are the three conditionings. Uh, I mean, uh, three th important things. And uh, now let's move ahead towards the journey of self-realization. And also one more thing, uh, in case if... Uh, it will be uh, wonderful if uh, the participants uh, have direct uh, contact with the ground, as in if they can uh, remove the shoes or the slippers that you're wearing, because uh, all the seven energy centers which are there on the spinal cord, they are also there on our hands and on the sole of our feet. So the feet, when they are direct in direct contact with the ground, ground as in the Mother Earth, so the Mother Earth will absorb all the imbalances all the negativity from your uh, from the feet okay so it's better if we can have direct contact with the mother earth if not possible no problem if probably you're in your office you can uh, and it's not possible to remove shoes it's perfectly fine no problem at all and also in case uh, any participant is wearing spectacles it will be better if they can remove the spectacles because even the eyesight gets improved uh, some people have even, uh, uh, so many people after coming to CIG Yoga, now their eyesight, they had uh, very high numbers, but now their eyesight is perfect. It's now they don't wear spectacles. For some, they had very, very high numbers and their numbers have drastically reduced. 
the doctors are also surprised how have the numbers drastically reduced in such uh, little very less time their numbers have reduced the spectacle number so it has a direct impact on your eyesight on everything in fact on every on every aspect of your life okay so now uh, without wasting any much time we we'll just move ahead towards the uh, self realization process all right so just be very relaxed and um, in front of your screen you can also see the photo of uh, her holiness shri mata ji nirmala devi we all from our hearts thank shri mata ji for bestowing humanity with this greatest blessing due to which transformation is possible in the most natural way and people are being blessed throughout the world so we shall all close our eyes we shall all close our eyes we'll all close our eyes we'll keep our left hand on our lap we'll keep our left hand on our lap and right hand on our heart left hand on our lap right hand on our heart even if somebody is doing a wrong uh, uh, not placing the hand anywhere not able to understand no problem just no problem you just uh, uh, everything will happen spontaneously you just have a pure desire your pure desire will work out and give you your self realization okay so left hand on your lap right hand on your heart here and our eyes we we'll keep it closed so that our attention is within ourselves so here we will pray from our heart we will pray the kundalini inside us is the divine mother so respectfully we call it as the divine mother so we will pray o oh divine power o oh divine mother i am just the pure spirit from our heart we will say this o oh divine mother i am just the pure spirit o oh divine mother i am just the pure spirit O oh, Mother Nature, I am just the pure spirit. I am only a pure atma. I am only a pure atma. O Divine Ma, O oh, Divine Mother, I am just the pure spirit. from our heart we will say this affirmation from our heart now the same hand the right hand we will take on our forehead we press the forehead and bend our head slightly downwards and now we will say this affirmation from our heart O oh, Mother Nature, I am not guilty for anything. O oh, Mother Nature, I am not guilty for anything. Hey Paramatma, I am absolutely nirdosh. I am only a pure Atma. I am absolutely nirdosh. O oh, divine mother i am not guilty for anything i am just the pure spirit now 
now another reformation we will say oh mother nature i forgive everyone i and from our heart today we should just forgive everyone oh mother nature i forgive everyone each and every one i forgive we don't have to count who all we are forgiving just the whole universe in one go we just should we should just forgive today oh mother nature i forgive everyone he parmatma maine sab ko shama kiya maine aaj apne dil se sab ko shama kar diya maine apni galtiyon ke liye apne aap ko bhi shama kiya oh mother nature i forgive everyone i forgive myself also for any mistakes committed by me oh mother nature i forgive everyone today from my heart today i forgive everyone he parmatma maine sab को आज क्षमा किया जिस किसी ने भी मुझे दुख पहुंचाया हो मैंने सबको क्षमा किया ओके सो नाउ वी टेक दिस सेम राइट हैंड वी विल नाउ प्लेस इट ऑन द हेड ऑन वील Uh, ma'am, sorry for interruption. Your voice has again gone. Ma'am, your voice is not coming. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, it's so, okay. sir, am I it's okay now? Now, it's okay. 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 It's so, audible. So, now. I. It's audible. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So now we will take our right hand back on our head. I mean, we will take our right hand on our head. Place the center of our hand on the center of our head. and rotate the scalp clockwise and rotate the scalp clockwise we we'll move our hand so that our scalp moves clockwise and here we will ask we will pray to the divine power oh divine power please give me my self realization oh divine power please give me my self realization oh divine power please give me my self realization from your heart from our heart we will ask for this we will pray for this oh mother nature please bless me with my self realization हे परमात्मा कृपया करके मुझे मेरा आत्म साक्षात्कार दे दीजिए हे परमात्मा कृपया करके मुझे मेरा आत्म साक्षात्कार दे दीजिए one last time again we will say this affirmation say this prayer from our heart o oh, divine mother o oh, divine power o oh, mother nature please bless me with self realization please give me my self realization please bless me with peace and joy within Okay so now we will keep our hand back on our lap 
the right hand and left hands both we will keep on our lap and we'll keep our eyes closed for some time we'll allow the inner divine energy within us to work out to cleanse us so we'll just sit like this for a few seconds All right, uh, so I, now we shall all open our eyes. We shall all open our eyes. We'll take our hand slightly upwards on our head, maybe one or two inches above our head. We'll take our right hand on top of our head. This time we will not place it on the head. We will keep it one or two inches above the head and just see if you can feel some sort of a cool or a warm breeze flowing from your hand or from your head and coming towards your head now we will keep the right hand down and take the left hand up, up on our head one or two inches above our head so one or two inches above our head, we will see if we can get any kind of warm or cool breeze. So we will just find if we can get any kind of warm or cool breeze from our head. Once again, we will take our left hand down and right hand above. Once again, we will take our right hand above and just check if you can feel any kind of cool or a warm breeze flowing from your head. It might be cool, it could, might be warm. Okay, so now we will get our hand back on our lap. We will place our hand back on our lap, both the hands, and just uh, check your hands. Just check your hands. Are you able to feel something from your hands? Like on your something flowing from your hands? It could be cool or a warm breeze or some sort of a tingling sensation. Some sort of a breeze, some tingling on your hands. Okay, so uh, you are uh, free to type on the chat in case you felt cool or a warm breeze or even if you felt some sort of a tingling on your hands, you can type it on the chat. And uh, first I'll let you know what this really is. So all of us who felt or even if there is somebody who could not feel, they can also type. So uh, I'll let you know why, why was it cool or warm or why was it that somebody was not able to feel? I'll, I'll answer all of those questions. And uh, the first thing is that uh, why were you able to feel this on your hands and on your head? Because the inner energy within you, the divine energy, which is in your sacrum bone, now that has got awakened. So initially, a few threads rise. Slowly, with regular medi Sahaja Yoga meditation, they will rise even more. So the cool breeze or a warm breeze that you felt today, this will increase. This will increase to uh, to to a great extent so, uh, that you will feel that. You, and this energy that is flowing from your hands, this is the uh, cosmic energy. So the the divine part, the cosmic energy which is controlling the whole universe, is now flowing from your hands. So you can imagine how powerful you become 
and this energy now the in in, in hindi it's known as the chaitanya lehriya in uh, in english called as the vibrations now about this it was mentioned in all the scriptures that in the gita this breeze that you're feeling from your hands or from your head it, this was named as uh, chaitanya lehriya in uh, the uh, bible about this it was mentioned about the, this is named as the cool breeze of the holy ghost that is flowing from your hands now in quran in quran about this it was mentioned so many years back that a time aayega qiyama ka time aayega aapke haath bolenge so that was your hands this breeze that is flowing today from your hands it was spoken of qiyama ka time was this time that after 5th may 1970 when the kun when the sahasrara chakra was opened the seventh chakra so it was about this time that in all the scriptures that it was mentioned thousands and thousands of years back that the time will come when your hands will speak now hands will speak how because now this chaitanya which is flowing from your hands these vibrations the divine the flow of energy from your hands now this indicates so many things to you supposing if somebody is having a kind of a pinch or a, uh, some sort of a, a needle pricking uh, feeling on one of the fingers that means that particular chakra needs attention now all the seven energy centers which are in our uh, sat uh, in our spinal cord they are also on our hands and on our feet now uh, on our hands uh, like uh, they are there slowly slowly you will know where exactly they are once you start practicing on this meditation on a regular basis you shall know each and everything you will know where they are on your hands also so now for example if there is a person who's feeling guilty all the time feeling guilty so the index finger of your hand the index finger of your hand you will feel some sort of a uh, needle pricking kind of a sensation on your index finger that means that uh, a person's throat now that index finger corresponds to your throat chakra that means your throat chakra is uh, there is some imbalance in your throat chakra the throat chakra is also responsible throat is also known as uh, your vishuddhi your vishuddhi chakra and your cervical plexus in medical language so that means some imbalance in your ent in the throat ent so the so uh, there are very natural techniques to uh, to get rid of this uh, to get rid of any kind of imbalance that you feel on your fingers now so this is how your hands will speak so another thing is why did you feel cool or why did you feel warm so that means whether you felt a cool breeze or you felt a warm breeze both mean that your inner energy has got awakened and that is why you felt a cool or a warm breeze that is why you felt it so uh, so it's uh, both mean the same thing that your inner energy has got awakened now if supposing somebody is feeling warm then they should just try to forgive everyone that means we have still not forgiven everyone you will notice that the moment you will forgive everyone and again check on your head the warm will automatically turn to cool okay so that is one uh, thing and uh, so uh, if by chance uh, yeah so the next uh, thing is that there is uh, there are various techniques now what you should do at home and how you should proceed with this now this was the first step now the first step as in when you have to uh, when you sow a seed on in the mother earth you it the seed is sown but after that you need to water it every day so that it turns out to be a beautiful plant and uh, you, the, it needs sunlight it needs water or, or in the same way today with the process of self realization the first step has taken place so the seed inside us has is there now it, the self realization has taken place the main uh, happening is has taken place now to grow in this to get all the benefits after self realization one needs to just spend 5 minutes in your entire day and just do sahaj yoga meditation and which is very 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 simple extremely simple and uh, for that uh, and of course there is another technique which is the foot soaking technique and uh, foot soaking technique is a technique again which is a very scientific technique and before self realization if somebody does that it is morely it is more commonly uh, it is like a pedicure or a manicure it's like a pedicure but after self realization that same foot soaking technique 
it removes all imbalances from your body not only imbalances of uh, emotional and mental and physical nature but even imbalances which are in your professional life or your personal life your financial uh, in areas of life so everywhere any kind of problem though it's uh, it's surprising how can food soak have a connection with problems connected to your relations with people with problems connected to your professional life but it has a connection you will see when you start doing food soak on a regular basis and uh, uh, so I'll uh, I'll request uh, Chandrakan sir to take you forward on the journey of food soaking and uh, what you should do on a daily basis. Yeah, I'll, I'll request Chandrakan sir. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Advocate Aditi ma'am, and uh, good afternoon all respected participants. So let's understand the food soak technique, how it can be helpful to us. The main advantage of food soak technique is to remove the toxic content from our body. If you do this food soak technique with meditation, it has lot many benefit. It improve your meditation. It improve your sensitivity on vibration. The vibration means the the way you feel on your hand, the cool or hot breeze. The way uh, just now the advocate Atiti ma'am uh, explain you. So if you do this uh, uh, meditation with uh, Food soak technique, there are many, many uh, advantages. So let's understand how we can do the meditation. It's a very, uh, uh, food soak, sorry, food soak. It's a very simple technique. Uh, if you can able to see the screen, you need to sit comfortably in chair. You need to take a one um, bucket or a one bowl, put the sufficient water so that your feet can be uh, properly filled with water. Uh, then you put, uh, uh, then take one towel, one cup of uh, one uh, water jug, a raw salt, and what you need to do, you can see the video also. You need to put a uh, handful of salt in this uh, bowl so that it this water uh, is mixed with this uh, raw salt, and after that, just need to sit for five to ten minutes. That's it. You can see in the video, like you take the uh, handful of salt, put it into the bowl. Now put our feet inside that uh, bowl and just sit for five to ten minutes like this. That's it. Your hand should be on your palm. Uh, your hand should be on your uh, both the uh, legs. Palm will be facing toward the sky. Only thing you don't need to close your eyes. In this step, you will be always keep your eyes open. And if you do this step for just five to ten minutes, that's it. And once that step is done, you need to remove your feet, wash it with the fresh water, clean your feet, and throw this water into the toilet. Why this water into the toilet? Because this water will contain some toxic elements. So don't use again for some other purpose. Just, just throw it on a toilet. So this, this will help us to remove all the toxic from your body. So I request you all participants, please try and do this step at your home, maybe five to 10 minutes. Also, I have posted one feedback link on the chart. I request you all participants, please fill this uh, feedback link so that you will get a more information on, on Sahaja Yoga, like foot soap technique, music therapy, ice pack treatment, and all other treatments. So uh, once we get your email ID, we will share you more information on that particular topic. Also, I have shared uh, one WhatsApp link, which we are conducting a regular online session on every Sunday, 10 a.m. So that you can use and uh, you can uh, join that group and we you will get the notification every Sunday. So this is how we can do a foot soap technique. There is one more technique which we call as the ice pack treatment. This is a very simple treatment. Uh, those people uh, who cannot able to concentrate on, uh, cannot able to do the meditation or maybe if they are sitting on a meditation and they are not getting a thoughtless awareness, continuously they are getting a thoughts, many thoughts. So in that case, what you can do, take a one ice pack, the ice pack may be uh, anything uh, like a normal ice pack, you can take it from the market and put it uh, on your liver, okay. So liver is on your uh, right side. Keep it uh, for some time. 
maybe five or ten minutes, and after that you do the meditation. What this ice pack treatment will do? It this ice pack treatment will help you to cool down your liver. So liver is a organ in our body which is generating a lot of heat, and because of that. we cannot concentrate or we cannot achieve the thoughtless awareness so to remove this problem we are generally keeping a ice pack on our liver so these are the two treatment which is very useful so apart from that i am very much uh, happy if you have any question uh, we are going to address your question so feel free to post your question on chat or maybe you can unmute and you can ask so that we can address your uh, questions and thank you uh, uh, rajiv sir for inviting us today so we are almost done if there are questions we will take two question maybe two or three questions kangnala kute tar gadavana adi kay lali sir tumhi lakshit dina ma so uh, please any session is open for the questions so you can ask your questions to aditi madam and chandrakant sir it is open for the question the session is open okay so madhukar uh, sir says pile uthe gela madam mahesh kumar sir uh, says how to cure allergic cold okay uh, okay for all kind of allergy uh, the remedy is same you need to do a meditation morning and evening whenever you wake up in the morning just do a meditation for 10, 10 to 15 minutes whenever you are going for sleep do meditation for 10 minutes along with the food soak so all your allergic problem will go away so uh, balu sir says nice